What's going to touch off the next big wildfire, lightning or a tossed cigarette? Well, local fire authorities tell News 27 it's just a matter of time. In the latest report from the National Interagency Fire Center, this region faces a potentially severe fire season tied directly to the lack of rain. The rain is almost over until the fall. Uh, and we've had two winters in a row that have been below normal. So that means that people are going to have to be exceptionally cautious this next summer. That's the National Weather Service's Jim Perpora, meteorologist in charge for the office issuing forecast for Southwest County. He tells News 27 it's the drought conditions, coupled with a recent severe freeze that has killed lots of vegetation, and now it's ready to burn. But area fire departments knowing conditions are ripe for the worst case scenario have beefed up their forces. We're always prepared. We're always in action. We take everything real seriously, and you know, here in Riverside County Fire, we are ready. With plenty of vegetation just sitting there, ready to burn, thanks to historic dry conditions, local firefighters can only hope for the best. But quietly and methodically, they say they're planning for the worst. We are prepared. With photojournalist Paul Sirbu, this is Bill Lawrence, News 27. The Temecula Police Department is armed with a weapon on its force who comes with some pretty extensive credentials. He's an ace at chasing down bad guys, finding narcotics, even protecting fellow officers when faced with unpredictable situations. All of this, and he only weighs 90 pounds. Meet Chaos, the Temecula Police Department's canine. This six-year-old Czech Shepherd is the only dog on the force, and his bark is as strong as his bite. Now, when Chaos practices with the agitator, he wears a suit like this. It weighs about 50 pounds in all. It's quite heavy. But even with the so-called suit of armor, you could still feel Chaos's bite right through the suit. Just watch as he gets hold of my arm. Chaos was held back during this attack, but watch when he's really put to work. Meet the city of Riverside's latest crime-fighting weapon. They can see more. As you can see with the T3, it adds about a 10-inch height to them, so they're able to see over things. They're super quiet. They can sneak up on people and not even know they're there. And despite it being on three wheels, it's pretty sturdy. It's got some weight behind it, so it's not going to roll over as, as easily as you might think. And the officers are singing its praises. It is fun to ride. Um, it provides a different atmosphere for us to actually get on, especially in a walking mall like we have downtown. Um, we can get around that location very fast. But instead of helping an officer, could the fact it's exposed on all sides be a risk? We ride in two-man teams, so we have somebody else always watching our back. And the downtown partnership is proud of their contribution. We're very pleased to be able to support the police in their efforts to keep downtown as safe and secure as it is. And to that, the officers say... I would like to thank the Riverside Downtown Partnership for purchasing one of them for the police department. In Temecula Valley's wine country, harvest season is well underway. Before most of us are getting out of bed, the pickers are in the vineyard. Not all of the grapes mature at the same time. We're harvesting muscat. It's a white grape. It's uh, typically served very sweet. So this is one of the early varietals that gets uh, mature before like the Chardonnay or Sauvignon Blanc or any of the reds. So this is uh, a muscat that we're harvesting here. Bill Wilson tells us what goes into harvest. Blood, sweat and tears. Uh, your whole heart and soul. This is uh, everything to do with uh, owning a winery. This is the season. All the other uh, months matter, but this is where it all happens. From Halloween to the end of the year, traffic safety experts see an increase in driving accidents, unsafe speed, making improper turns, unsafe lane changes, and drunk driving are some of the major causes. The I-15 between Lake Elsinore and Escondido has become a speedway. More than 10,000 speeding tickets were written by the CHP in 2005, and speed was the cause of almost 50% of all the accidents. During the day, uh, the average speed out there is about 70, um, but we get people doing 85 all the time. When the sun goes down, the speeds pick up. There's less cars out there for them to get inhabited by, by while they're speeding down the freeway, and so we'll get speeds up to 85 and 90 on the 15 freeway. Drivers making improper turns and unsafe lane changes accounted for over 300 accidents in 2005. 
It's in the beautiful landscape of San Jacinto that Gary Howard trains about a hundred racing thoroughbred horses at his hideaway farm. We've probably won over 200 races. We, used to uh, we won the California Distaff, which I think was a $150,000 race with one of our own. Horse racing is a $200 billion a year industry, and one racing horse can be sold for up to $13 million. They run all over the United States and Europe and all over the world that train here and are raised here. Imagine the surprise and shock of the occupants of this home in the corner of Calistoga and Mendocino when at 2.30 in the morning, a Ford F-250 pickup truck hit it at an estimated speed of 70 miles an hour. I was sleeping right there in that room and um, I just heard a, a really long screech and um, just hit the house straight on. It just sounded like a really, really loud explosion. Um, and it just shook the house really bad. I saw a girl. Um, the police were able to detain one of them. Reports are that the truck, occupied by at least two teenage girls, ran a red light on Murrieta Hot Springs Drive, prompting a police pursuit. When the truck hit the house, it mowed down a wooden fence, also the home's gas line feed, then struck the hot water heater just inside the garage. Big concern here after this crash was the fact that this gas meter attached to this home was sheared off by the force of the impact, and the gas was swooshing out of here. This could have been a major problem. Fortunately, gas company was here with the fire department, had it shut down before too long. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department is looking for women to join their team. The second annual Women's Fitness Challenge was held to help women get ready for the physical agility test. What it is is an opportunity for females to get together and participate in the physical challenges portion of our department. Women have to do the same physical challenges as the men do. This gives them an opportunity to come down here and learn more on a one-on-one -on -one and cheer each other on of the certain techniques and maybe uh, you know this will help them benefit in the passing the course. There are several tests of strength and agility. The more challenging test is the six-foot wall that they have to scale over. Uh, we have a six-foot chain link fence and a 165-pound body drive. Completing the event could be the start of a job with the department. Today's event, we are going to go ahead and time it, and if their time is good and, and they actually pass the test with a good enough time, we will actually use that in the hiring process. Job seekers have these reactions. It has been harder than I, than I thought it was going to be, um, but it sure puts me in a trial to make it better. Today, oh my gosh, this has been the best experience ever. With all these women cheering you on, just the camaraderie, you make friends instantly out here. It's just been amazing, and I was able to pass it, and I'm on cloud nine right now. It's just been, it's awesome. From Moreno Valley with photojournalist Paul Sirbu, Andy Crossland, News 27.